Thank you for taking the time to listen to our show today. I'm Jason McGregor. I'm the host of the Minnick McGregor Wealthcast. Each episode, we will be discussing topics we believe to be important to our clients. And welcome to our podcast this week. Hi, everybody. This is Jason McGregor. I'm one of the owners of Minnick McGregor Wealth Management, and welcome to our podcast this week. Today, I'm joined by Corey Laird. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Corey's a financial advisor and certified financial planner. And today, our topic is going to be a little bit about taxes. It's uh, May 28th, I think. Is it today, 28th? 27th. Excellent. Today's the 27th. And we just wrapped up a late tax season. The deadline was obviously the, to the mm-hmm. 17th. We got delayed again this year. And, you know, it's a time of year where we're talking to our clients and they're talking about the taxes that they just had, that they just had to pay. And we often have conversations about marginal versus effective tax rates. And before you tune out here, it's not as technical or as boring as you might think, <laughs> right? Um, but you know, when, when you're talking about your, the taxes that you actually pay and the tax bracket that you're in, there is usually a very, very large difference between what your marginal tax rate, that's your top tax rate, and your effective tax rate, which is the rate that you actually pay, right? right? So Corey, you want to to explain that a little bit better? Yeah, so what we're talking about is the marginal versus the effective. So when you're thinking of marginal, what that basically means is, is that extra dollar on top, your last dollar. So if you make $100,000 and then you get a raise of $100,000 and $1, what is that one extra dollar being taxed at? And it has its own tax bracket, that top dollar, that top dollars will always have its own tax bracket than the bottom dollars. The bottom dollars have, you know, your first $20,000 are taxed at a different rate than the top dollars are. And that's what the progressive tax system does. The more you make, those higher and higher dollars get taxed at a lower, excuse me, at a higher number, at a higher at tax rate, but it won't always, it will always be a lower tax rate for those bottom dollars. Yeah, so let's keep it simple. Yeah. Let's just use an example. Um, let's say you have, you're, uh, you're a married couple, you're in your peak earning years, you're making a lot of money, you're, you're both professional, and you have a, t- your, your total income is over, is, is about, let's call it $200,000. Okay. Uh, husband and wife both make $100,000, great jobs. That's your total income. That's before any deductions, whether you itemize or the standard deduction. And for a married couple, let's just call the standard deduction right around $25,000. Sure. Yep. It's just yep. a little off, but close enough. So that means that your taxable income is $175,000. And we know based upon the IRS tax tables that if you have $175,000 worth of taxable income, then you fall into the marginal tax rate of 24%. That's right. Kind of high. So you think, oh my gosh, all $175,000 of that is taxed at 24%? No, because yeah, yeah. we, we have a progressive tax that's system. Right. You, you think you know, you're in the 24% tax rate, so a fourth of your money is going out the window for taxes, but it's only on the, the top dollars that are being taxed at 24%. Right. So all income above $172,751, the amount above that is taxed at 24%. The amount between 81000 and one seventy two is taxed at 22%, $19,900, Eighty-one thousand is taxed at twelve percent, and the first nineteen thousand nine hundred dollars is taxed at ten percent. So you have to average that all together to come up with your effective effective tax rate. Good news, I've already done the math. If you uh, if you have one hundred seventy five thousand dollars taxable income, then you actually pay federal taxes of thirty thousand and forty one dollars, which is exactly to the like hundred decimal place fifteen percent. So. You figure out the total tax that you have to pay, and then you divide it back into your total income. So that's your, that's the two hundred thousand dollar number in this example, and that gives you a margin, assuming an effective tax rate of fifteen percent. And there, I, I almost made the same mistake that people do, confusing <laughs> effective with marginal. So, um, so again, you know, remember if you uh, think that you're in the twenty four or thirty two or 35, whatever it is, you know, whatever tax bracket you're in, you, you don't ever pay that full percentage. And I guess the point is, usually it's not as bad as you think. And I think it comes down to when you're trying to think about if you're you know, possibly looking to retire, 
or if you're you know trying to withhold taxes from some, some type of income source, if you're thinking if you think you're in the 24% tax bracket, you might withhold too much, right. which is you know not necessarily a bad thing, but you are you know loaning the federal government some money right. for a couple months and you get a tax refund, but it's better to withhold the correct amount so you don't have a bill or uh, a refund. So if you do if you do your own taxes, you have to use TurboTax. It will tell you what your effective rate is. Oftentimes, we see prepared uh, tax returns from our clients from a CPA, and often on the one of the first 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 or second pages, it will print the effective tax rate on it. Also, sure. focus on that, and that's that should be your withholding percentage. It's yeah. a much much better yeah. uh, better number. So um, this is a, a short short discussion, pretty straightforward. Any other comment comments or parting words for you? No, again, this is federal. So we're only been talking about federal taxes. So when you're talking about state taxes, obviously, you know, we have many people, many clients in different states. So for state taxes, keep that in mind as well. All right. All right. Well, uh, thanks for taking some time to uh, listen and watch our um, podcast. And uh, we can be reached if you have any questions at 518-499-4565. Our website is mmwealth.com and our email is info at mmwealth.com. Corey, thanks for taking some time out of your day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Have a great week. Vinnick McGregor Wealth Management is registered as an investment advisor with the SEC and only transacts business in states where it is properly registered or is excluded or exempted from registration requirements. SEC registration does not constitute an endorsement of the firm by the commission, nor does it indicate that the advisor has attained a particular level of skill or ability. Information presented does not involve the rendering of personalized investment advice and should not be construed as an offer to buy or sell or a solicitation of any offer to buy or sell the securities discussed. Different types of investments involve varying degrees of risk, and there can be no assurance that any investment or strategy will be suitable or profitable for an investor's portfolio. There are no assurances that an investor's portfolio will match or outperform any particular benchmark. All investment strategies have the potential for profit or loss. Past performance may not be indicative of future results. The tax and legal information contained in this podcast is general in nature. Always consult an attorney or tax professional regarding your specific legal or tax situation.